The graph shows relationship between object distance and image distance for an equiconvex lens. Then focal length of the lens is okay. So we have the relationship between the object distance and image distance, and we want to find out the focal length. Now, if you look at the options, we need to find out the focal length, but we also need to find out what is the error in its measurement. All right, that is the question. So, how do we proceed with it? We know what is the relationship between the focal length, the object distance, and the image distance. It's 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. Do we know u and v for a particular case? Absolutely, we know that. At this point, we know that the object distance is minus 10 centimeter and the image distance is 10 centimeter. So we can use that to simply find out the focal length. So let's do that. So 1 by f will be equal to 1 upon v, which is 10, minus 1 upon u, which is minus 10. So 1 upon f becomes 2 upon 10. So f becomes 5 centimeter. Is that enough? Not really. We have to find out the error as well. Okay, how do we find error? We are going to differentiate this equation on both sides. All right, so let's do that. So when I differentiate it, I'm going to get minus one upon f square into delta f is equal to minus one upon v square into delta v and then minus minus one upon u square into delta u. Okay, simply we have differentiated on both sides. Okay. But we know that the error does not decrease. The error, error can only increase. So if I have to say what is the error delta f upon f square, then I have to say it will be mod of delta v upon v square plus the mod of delta u upon u square. Is that correct? All we need to do is substitute and find the answer. Okay, perfect. So delta f will be equal to f square Okay, what is f square? The value of f square is going to be 5 square, which is 25 multiplied by now I have to substitute for delta v. What is the error in its measurement? So if you look at the scale, this is given in centimeter and the least count here is 0.1 centimeter because it is divided into 10 divisions. All right. So what is the least count? 0.1 centimeter. Hence, that is going to be the error in measurement of v. Okay, so I can substitute 0 0.v of 1 divided by v square, v square will become 10 square, that is 100, plus, again, delta u is going to be 0 0.1, because the scale is the same, divided by u square, which will again be 100, and this is what we need to find out, all right, not difficult to find that at all, so this becomes 25, multiplied by 0 0.2 upon 100, so this becomes 4, and hence, I'm going to get 0 0.05, centimeter. All right. So what will be my final answer? My final answer is going to be 5.00 plus minus 0 0.05 centimeter. That will be the focal length with the complete description of error in measurement as well. All right. Let's have a look at the options. So option C is going to be the correct option. A concave lens forms the image of an object such that the distance between the object and image is 10 centimeter and the magnification produced is 1 by 4. The focal length of the lens will be, all right, very interesting question. So the distance between object and image is 10 centimeter, okay? Now, the important thing here is that it is a concave lens and the magnification produces 1 by 4, okay? Now, the key concept involved here is that for a real object, a concave lens forms an upright diminished and virtual image, okay? So the critical part here is upright. So we know for sure that the magnification magnitude is one by four, all right, but what will be the sign of the magnification? It has to be positive because convex lens, concave lens, I'm sorry, always forms upright image, okay? So M, I am 100% sure is plus one by four. And that makes my life very simple, why? because this is v upon u, image distance about object distance, okay? So if we say that the image distance is x, then the object distance has to be four times of that. So the object distance has to be four x, is that correct? And since this is a virtual image, image and object are formed on the same side of the lens, perfect? So this distance between object and image becomes three x, simple. So this three x is given to us as 10 centimeter as per the question. All right, so now you know we are in a very good shape to solve this question. All we need to do is substitute in the lens formula and find out the focal length. All right, let's get started. So one upon f is equal to one upon v. What is v? X, 
but taking the sign into consideration, I'm taking this direction, the direction of incident light as positive, I will have to substitute it as minus x. Minus u again, I'll have to substitute it as minus 4x, okay? So 1 upon f is going to become, so this becomes positive, and then I can multiply and divide it by 4. So I'm going to have minus 3 upon 4x, okay? So the focal length is equal to 4x upon 3, but with a negative sign. Now, what is the value of x? x ka value will become 10 upon 3 centimeter. Is that correct? We can say that from here. So this becomes minus 4 by 3. Multiplied by x is going to be 10 by 3. So this becomes minus 40 upon 9 centimeter. And when we solve it, we are going to get f is equal to minus 4.4 centimeter. And that is going to be my answer. Let's have a look at the options. So option D is going to be the correct option. An object is kept at a distance of 16 centimeter from a thin lens and the image formed is real. If the object is kept at a distance of 6 centimeter from the same lens, the image formed is virtual. If the sizes of the images formed are equal, the focal length of the lens will be. All right, very interesting question. So what is happening? When it is placed at a, at a certain distance, then the image formed is real. And then when it is placed at a different distance, the image formed is virtual. Okay, so does that give us a hint? What kind of lens is it? Is it a concave lens or is it a convex lens? Let's figure that out. Okay, so the key concept involved here is that for a real object, a concave lens always forms an upright diminished and virtual image. So concave lens can only form an, a virtual image. Okay, but in this case, virtual as well as real image is being formed. So which lens does it have to be? It necessarily has to be a convex lens. Okay. Moreover, when does a convex lens form an upright image and when does it form a, an inverted image? Okay. If we remember image formation, if this is the convex lens, let's say this is the focal length. If the object is placed beyond focus, then the image formed is inverted. Is that correct? But in case of a convex lens, if the object is placed between focus and the optic center, then in that case, the image formed is virtual as well as upright, okay? What does it tell me? It tells me if this is magnification M1, and if this is magnification M2, they are going to have opposite sign, and they are equal in magnitude as per the question. So, the very important thing that we have figured out is that M1 is negative of M2, and that is the crux of this problem. All right, so now let's solve this. So first scenario, u1 is minus 16 centimeter. Second scenario, u2 is minus six centimeter. What do we know about magnification? Magnification for the first scenario is going to be f upon f plus u1. Magnification for a lens we know is f upon f plus u, taking care of the sign. All right, so let's do that. So this becomes, f upon f and what is u1? u1 is minus 16. Perfect. What is m2? m2 will be f upon f plus u2. So this is going to become f upon f minus 6. And what do we know? We know m1 is equal to negative of m2. So f upon f minus 16 is equal to negative of f upon f minus 6. And we can take the calculation over here. So f goes away. So f minus 6 is equal to minus f plus 22. From here, we're going to get 2f is equal to I think uh, we have to take care of the minus sign as well. So this becomes minus f plus 16. All right, sorry, a little bit of mistake there. So f minus 6 is equal to minus f plus 16. And then we have 2f is equal to 22. So f is equal to 11 centimeter. And that is going to be my answer. Let's have a look at the options. So option D is going to be the correct option. A lens forms a virtual diminished image of an object placed at 2 meter from it. 
the size of image is half of the object which of the following statements is correct regarding the nature and focal length of the lens okay so what is happening virtual and diminished image is being formed and we have to tell is it going to be a concave lens or a convex lens and what is the focal length can we figure that out i think we can easily figure that out if we know the key concept here what is that for a real object a concave lens always forms an upright diminished and virtual image so the key here is diminished image okay so a convex lens also forms an upright and virtual image but in that case it is always magnified okay so if you remember the image formation if the object is placed between the optic center and the focus then certainly the image formed is virtual the image formed is upright as well but it is not diminished it is always magnified okay so it cannot be a convex lens it has to be a concave lens so we have figured out that it is a concave lens and since the image formed is upright the magnification for sure is going to be plus half all right so all we need to do is find out the focal length hence we can use the magnification relationship so m is equal to f upon f plus u for a lens so all we need to do is substitute so half is equal to half f upon f and u is minus 2 so this is going to give me f minus 2 is equal to 2f so f is going to be 2 meter all right that is going to be my answer f is going to be 2 meter and also it is going to be a concave lens so option c is going to be my right answer focal length of concave lens shown in figure is 60 centimeter for an object placed at c on principal axis find image position and its magnification okay so we know the object we know the focal length we know the object distance what we need is we need v and we need m which is extremely simple okay all we need to do is apply the yes apply the lens formula so 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u i'm going to apply that so this becomes 1 upon f which is minus 60 centimeter because this is a concave lens so this is going to be negative upon is equal to 1 upon v minus u is minus 30 all right so from here i'm going to get 1 by v is equal to minus 1 upon 30 minus 1 upon 60 so this is going to become 60 and then we have minus 2 minus 1 so minus 3 upon 60 hence v comes out to be minus 20 centimeter all right first part done we also need to find out the magnification the magnification for a lens is v upon u so this becomes minus 20 divided by u which is minus 30 so this becomes 2 upon 3 all right so we have figured out both the things v is minus 20 centimeter and magnification is 2 by 3 all right let's have a look at the options so option a is going to be the correct option very simple lens formula and magnification formula application 